NBC News reporter Kenneth Moten begins our team coverage from Washington. President Trump's first major legislative win, a sweeping tax overhaul. We are making America great again. You haven't heard that, have you? The president surrounded by GOP lawmakers who helped pass the $1.5 trillion rewrite of the tax code, the largest in more than three decades. It means jobs, 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 jobs. So it's going to be really a very special period of time. The Senate passed the bill along party lines in the wee hours of the morning. Speaker Paul Ryan in the House with a redo vote Wednesday after a procedural hiccup. Republicans are promising tax cuts to help it the middle really class. Simple. Well, the message to the hardworking taxpayers of America is your tax relief is on its way. Democrats focus on the tax cuts for corporations and the rich. Tax breaks don't lead to job creation. They lead to big CEO salaries and money for the very, very wealthy. Now the Republicans are taking their cool victory lap toasting it with champagne with their donors and the wealthiest. But they didn't do what they promised. Thank President Trump and Republicans now tasked with selling the plan to the people. Recent polls show it's unpopular with the majority of Americans. President Trump promised to sign the tax bill into law immediately, but the White House says there's a process before it hits the president's desk, so no date has been set. Kenneth Moten, ABC News, Washington. And despite the bill's passage, stocks dropped a bit today. The Dow lost 28 points. The Nasdaq and S&P were essentially flat. Well, AT&T employees are getting an immediate boost from the tax reform bill. The CEO revealed today that 200,000 workers will get a $1,000 bonus each. That's nearly all of the telecommunications companies, 256,000 employees. Now, San Francisco-based bank Wells Fargo says it will boost the minimum wage for employees to $15 an hour because of the corporate tax break and will donate $400 million to charities. Boeing announced it's providing $300 million for training, upgrades, and charitable donations. Well, I want to give you some more analysis now of the tax bill. We want to turn to ABC News political director Rick Klein. Jessica Castro from ABC 7 Morning spoke with him this morning and here's what was said when the conversation turned to President Trump. How important is this for him politically? I think it's a big moral victory for him and Republicans. They were over the year in terms of big legislative wins. So to close out the year with something that cuts taxes, repeals the Obamacare individual mandate, opens up uh, the Arctic or the Alaska National Wildlife Refuge to, to, to oil drilling. Those are big things for Republicans. Democrats, no surprise, though, very upset about the outcome and vowing to come back at the ballot box in 2018. Do you think that's possible for the Democrats? Well, this is going to be the grand argument of 2018. It feels like we close out 2017 with laying down those battle lines. And I think for Democrats, they've seen success in places like Virginia uh, and, and Alabama just last week, uh, where they're able to tap into some of the voter anger, frustration at what's going on in the Trump era. It's possible that the tax bill adds to that. It's also possible that people remember why they voted for President Trump and the Republican majority because of things like this tax cut. Now, as GOP lawmakers celebrate the nation's biggest tax overhaul in more than 30 years, most Americans are still processing what it means for them. Now, some are turning to local tax professionals for guidance as the year quickly comes to a close. ABC 7 News reporter Chris Wynn has the story. It's one of the biggest tax cuts in American history. Congressional Republicans delivering what they say is an early Christmas present. Without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. But others are concerned by the timing of today's vote. Thinking about my own family and how it's going to impact in, us in the coming year in terms of whether we'll owe more, um, it's not a great feeling. As the GOP celebrates the bill, tax professionals are working overtime. Now we're getting all this late-breaking, big change information um, at a really, really late time. Jeffrey Lawrence and his team of certified public accountants advise hundreds of clients in Santa Clara County. Most of them today are uh, desperately trying to pay their property tax and any uh, estimated state taxes for the year 2017. That's because under the new plan, taxpayers who itemize will only be able to deduct their state individual income, sales, and property taxes up to a limit of $10,000 a year. CPA Ami Shah has been swamped with questions from clients. Tax professionals can do planning, and I would insist that you know everybody should review their tax returns and kind of start planning for 2018. For those who prepare their taxes using software such as Intuit's TurboTax, company officials say updates are already underway. We'll make sure that we've got the tax law changes in place 
and then they get every tax break they deserve and the maximum refund allowable. The experts doing their best to stay informed with the information that's available. Well, I'll be spending Christmas studying uh, continuing education then. So, yeah, that's what it boils down to. So we're ready to go at the beginning of the year. In San Jose, Chris Wynn, ABC7 News. And to read up on tax reform and the changes that affect you, go to abc7news.com. An update now on our breaking news in San Jose, a man who has